Good afternoon. Welcome to Long Live Third Parties Podcast. Free Press Media Press Inc., a third party's books publisher, sponsors this podcast. I'm Andrew Bouchard. Today we're in the case D. Bird Dinis v. Sutherland, 185, MISC, 2D, 892, New York, Supreme Court, 2000. Friends, get ready for a head scratcher, but let us still get inspired. This case involves the Green Party. Way to go, Green Party, for fighting the good fight of ballot access. Prepare to scratch your head. Because it starts to sound good for our side, and then they invoke something that causes you to scratch your head. So let's read. It says, quote, In this proceeding, to validate petitions designated Donald J. D. Barrard Dennis as a Green Party candidate, for mayor in the primary election to be held on September 12, 2000, the petitioner challenges the determination of the Westchester County Board of Elections made on July 21, 2000, which sustained objections to both of the signatures of registered voters in the Green Party contained on the petitions and declared the petitions invalid. The petitioner contends that he was not given timely notice of the specific objections filed against the petitions was not given a timely opportunity to cure the alleged deficiencies and was in fact denied the opportunity to cure the deficiencies when he requested the same. The respondents contend that the notice provided to the petitioner was proper and that the failure to provide the dates on which the two signatories signed the petition was a fatal and non-curable defect. The End quote. Anybody out there ever run for mayor? What's that like? I ran for county board. And I put my hat in for a special election for city council, the prompting of some people. So I ran for those races. I didn't run for mayor. What's a mayor, mayoral election for a third party like? Our friends here only missed it by two signatures, and they say it's a non-curable defect. Non-curable. They mention how, if by chance somebody is filling out a petition and the people signing it fail to put in the dates, the person passing out the petitions can add in the dates as long as they initial them. That's fair enough. I imagine stuff like that happens. You're busy. People are signing. You got a lot of things you're thinking about. So people may neglect the dates. And then that would suck if there would be nothing you can do at that point. So at least you can go in there and change it. It says our friend appealed to the Board of Elections and he wanted to speak to the commissioner because he wanted to take care of this. Some people would neglect it, but no, he wanted to take care of this. He wanted to make it right. The commissioner informed him that he could not make it right because the law did not allow this. The court in this case mentions if there is a part of the law that would allow it, then the commissioner would be liable for giving wrong advice. And that would help our friend's case. So what happened? What was the ultimate verdict? They state that there are only some things you can change and some things you can't change. What is this? It says, quote, the requirement is not provided or incorporated into the regulations and therefore the three-day cure provision is not applicable to this defect. Since the defect could not be cured subsequent to filing the petitions with the Board of Elections, Petitioner was not deprived of any fundamental right of due process by reason of the late notice of respondent's refusal to permit the post-filing amendment of petitions. 
In accordance with the foregoing, the petition is denied and the proceeding is dismissed. End quote. Since they state that this is not a thing that can be changed, it makes me wonder what can be changed. Can anything be changed? It sounds like something can be changed. But this is one of those things you would think that could be changed. So it leaves me scratching my head. What's going on here? Good job, Green Party of New York, for fighting this fight. We love to see this. We love to see what you're doing. Unfortunately, you're not going to win, but we still salute you nonetheless. Long live third parties. Goodbye.